Hi, this is James from Tabletop Game Eagle, and today we're going to take a look at Spintronics, published by Upper Story. This game is going to teach kids how to make mechanical circuits, how they function, how gears move, all that really cool stuff that's going to be required if they're going to have any like sort of idea how to do anything mechanical or engineering in that area. So this game here is going to require Act 1. Act 2 is just as large. It has just as large of a workbook to go through with hundreds of scenarios in it, a hundred different scenarios at least, in it. It's going to have a really cool storyline throughout the book, and it's going to have really cool components uh, to use to simulate creating these circuits. So let's go ahead down the table here. I'm going to show you what comes with this, and then I'll come back and I'll give you my final thoughts. Okay, so this is Spintronics. This is Act 2. You uh, do have to have Act 1 to be able to use this, uh, and this expands upon Act 1. Now, uh, this is just a puzzle game, so there's going to be a lot of um, things you got to figure out through the gears and stuff, uh, but I did want to show you what comes with this. So... Uh, like Act 1, you get a giant Act 2. This Act 2 is just as big as Act 1. And like Act 1, Act 2 is going to start with a really cool story that you're going to go through. It's a little bit farther down in the future uh, where our main character is a little older. And you're going to need to start and uh, figure out these really cool circuits and learn how um, everything works in here, how the gears turn, how tension works, all that fun stuff. And this book is gigantic. There's so many experiments in here and so many engaging things in here. It's insane. Uh, and the answers are back at the back of the book. But I just wanted to see end of act two, 139 pages. So you have 139 pages to go through. And this one here, other than not having the battery, which comes in act one, which is what's required in act one to have, be able to have this, you have just as many components. You have more chains. Now these chains do need to be put together by an adult. Uh, they just come with a link, so you'll need to start those at least. The kids can do it a little bit, but you get more of the links in there. You get three more of these magnetic um, platforms that you're going to place your gears on. Uh, you get more uh, neat gears here. This one's going to show you how much tension was placed on it. Uh, you get some more of these blue gears, which are uh, your bigger gears that you can use at different levels. Um, you get some of these really cool, there's two of these really cool purple gears that have, this needs to lock back into place, uh, but they have uh, multiple different things happening with them. Uh, that's cool that you'll see when later on when you lock them out, uh, unlock them. And this really cool one that has uh, these ball bearings that help uh, push it along. And really cool. And another 500. You have a 500 in the base game. You get a second 500 with this. So I did want to show you what comes with this more than just talk about it. There's a significant amount of additional uh, components that come with this. And again, this doubles the size of the game. This, this is gigantic for the experiments. So let's go ahead back up to the table here, and I'll give you my final thoughts on the Act 2 expansion for uh, Spintronics. All right, I really, really like this. This Spintronics Act 2 is amazing. If you liked Act 1, get Act 2. That's end of review. Done. Get Act 2. It has just as many scenarios in it. It's humongous. You have hours and hours and hours of content in this, and it will teach in an advanced level, more of how mechanical uh, circuits work. So you'll have more on what the gears do, all this stuff. And again, uses no electricity. It's amazing. It's amazing how well they put these components together. They're really great precision components that are just going to last forever. They're not like these cheap science kits that I get my kids that have just borderline junk in them uh, that are really like they look cool on the outside you pay a lot of money for them and you end up with all oh, like it has blaster paris and uh yeah yay i'm gonna mix it and nothing amazing in it uh so and the what the kids learn from it's a little questionable on some of those ones it's very uh but what you learn with this is it you will get a good grasp of how all this stuff works by the end or even for through a couple scenarios of it. 
This is amazing. It's also highly attractive, I think, because of the fact that of how well the components are built and how you get to see all the gears working and all that stuff working together is just really awesome. I just can't recommend this enough. So if you're looking for like a STEM sort of game for to get purchased for your children to take a look at, I would highly recommend this one over any of the ones I've ever had. Uh, just, just so good. So yeah, if you're looking for uh, something like this uh, to teach your kids uh, mechanical circuits, I would highly, highly, highly recommend picking this up. And that's my thoughts on Spintronics Act 2. Oh yeah, do remember, you have to have Act 1 first. So if you're looking for it, get Act 1 and then you really like it, get Act 2. But anyway, that's my thoughts on it. Thank you for watching.